dear learners, welcome to another fun and exciting learning episode of Amazing World of Science. I hope that you are doing great while studying at home. I am excited to be part of your learning adventure and exploring the wonders of science. I am Maria Victoria Cristina Vipateño, your science teacher in grade 3. Are you excited to learn new things with me today? Yes, teacher. Did. That's awesome. But before the kids, let me check if you have your notebook, pen, and learning module as we go along in this amazing adventure. Kids, before we will recall our lesson yesterday, let us read the following words. The first word is proper. Now it's your time to read. Proper. The second word is poisonous. Please read the word again. Poisonous. The third word is flammable. Can you read it again? Flammable. The next word is hazardous. What is that word? Hazardous. The fifth word is safety. Can you say it again? Safety. And the last word is handling. Now it's your time to read. Handling. Kids, you did a great job. Before we we'll proceed to our main topic today, can you still recall your previous lesson? Yes, teacher did. Wow, that's amazing. Kids, let us try to answer this activity. Let us try to find out by answering the following questions. Are you ready, kids? Let's begin. Direction. Choose the letter of the best answer. Number one. What will happen to the balloon when air cools? A. Increase in size. B. Decrease in size. Or letter C. The size remains the same. Timer starts now. Three, two, one. What is your answer? B. It decreases in size. The correct answer is letter B, the quiz in size. Can you explain your answer? The volume of the air inside the balloon decreases by the low temperature because the gas inside is cooled down. Excellent! You did great! Second question. What happens to the balloon when air heats up? Letter A, increase in size. B, decrease in size. Or letter C, the size remains the same. Timer starts now. Three, two, one. What is your answer? A, increase in size. The correct answer is A. Increase in size. Sigel, will you please justify your answer? The volume of the air inside the balloon increases by the high temperature because the gas inside is heated up. Kids, how important is safety at home and in school? What is in the pictures? The first picture is a man wearing a safety gear while disinfecting. The second picture is a child tries to touch a wall outlet. Did you know that 
that kids like you need to be reminded about safety, especially if you will be spending time home alone. You might ask these questions. What should I do if I get hurt? Who should I call if I need help? What's our fire safety plan? All of these questions are related to precautions. This time, let us explore about safety measures in handling and using materials. Safety measures should be observed at home, school, road, and actually, they should be observed everywhere. Let's learn them all today. We should be careful at home. Please remember these kids, do not play with things like this. Scissors, blade, knife, switches and wires, medicines, matchsticks, and fire. Why? Because they can be extremely harmful for us. Kids, please remember this. In your home, please don't forget to keep your toys, example your Lego, ball, doll, puzzles, then school supplies, example your bags, your color pens, pencil, paper, or books, your shoes, and other items in place. Why is it important to keep your personal belongings in place? Because it can be you, your parent, brother, sister, grandparent, or anyone else in your home could fall over them. Avoid doing this at home. It may burn yourself. Do not touch electrical equipment like switches and wires and other electrical items with wet hands. It may give you an electric shock. Kids, when you play with scissors and knife, you might get cut. And playing with fire is dangerous. You might burn yourself or your house may get fire. All cleaning products have chemicals in them which make it highly poisonous if swallowed. You may use hand gloves. Keep insecticides in a well-ventilated area. Kids, I'm pretty sure that you are now ready for our exciting learning adventure. Let us try to find out by answering the following activities. Are you ready kids? Let's begin! Direction. Put a smiley face below the picture if it is a proper way and put a sad face if it is an improper way in handling and using solid, liquid, and gas found at home and in school. Timer starts now! 3, 2, 1 Time is up! What is your answer? It is an improper way. Sad face. Terrific. Timer starts now. Three, two, one. Time is up. What is your answer? It is a proper way. Happy face. Terrific. Direction. Label the following pictures as proper way if it is the right way of using materials and improper if it is not a proper way in handling and using solid, liquid, and gas found at home and in school. Timer starts now. 3, 2, 1. Time is up. What is your answer? It is a proper way. Fantastic! Time is up. Three, two, one. Time is up. What is your answer? 
it is an improper way. Fantastic! Direction. Cross out the unsafe actions given in the pictures. Timer starts now. Three, two, one. Time is up. What is your answer? X because it is an unsafe action. Incredible! Timer starts now. Three, two, one. Time is up. What is your answer? X because it is an unsafe action. Incredible! Direction. Write some of the dangers you have found in this picture. Timer starts now. Time is up. What is your answer? There is a crack or break in the electrical wire. Excellent! Let us read the selection and you may discuss your answer to any member of your family and friends. Lisa's mother ordered her to clean the bathroom. She gave all the materials Lisa will need in cleaning. One of the materials is bleaching liquid. What should Lisa do before using it? Why? I will repeat the question. What should Lisa do before using the bleaching liquid? And why? Lisa should wear mask, gloves, and eye protection to avoid contact with chemicals. It was an awesome idea, Princess. Kids, we're almost done with our lesson. But before we will end, I want you to answer this activity. Let's begin! Direction. Draw a star in the space provided before the number if it is a proper way in handling and using solid, liquid, and gas found at home and in school. And draw a sun if it is not. Lorna did not use gloves and masks while spraying insecticides. She thinks it's just a props. Timer starts now. Three, two, one. Time is up. What is your answer? Sun. Because it is improper. The correct answer is... Awesome. Number two. Erica put a cartoon character sticker on the product label of the bleaching liquid. Timer starts now. Three, two, one. Time is up. What is your answer? Sun, because it is improper. The correct answer is... Incredible! Number 3. Cheska tried to use the kerosene as hand wash to prove to herself and to others that the product label is true. Timer starts now. 3, 2, 1. Time is up. What is your answer? Sun, because it is improper. Correct answer is great. Number four, Troy regularly inspects the cooking gas tank tightly closed after using it. 
timer starts now. Three, two, one. Time's up. What is your answer? Star because it is proper way. The correct answer is excellent. Number five. Carlo reminds her brother not to play with blade, scissor, and knife. Timer starts now. Three, two, one. Time is up. What is your answer? Star because it is a proper way. The correct answer is fantastic. Able to answer the activity? That's great! Congratulations, kids! You all did great job today! I hope you had fun learning adventures in this lesson, and I hope that you can answer all activities on your module. Let's learn more interesting things about science in the next episodes. Once again, I am Teacher Ding Ding saying science is the process that takes us from confusion to understanding by Brian Green. Thank you kids and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.